This is Unit 1, Lesson 5. This is the instructional video for constructing a regular hexagon inscribed in a circle. So using a compass and straight edge, construct a regular hexagon inscribed in circle O. So that means all the angles or vertices of hexagon of the hexagon will lie on the edge of the circle. So your first step is to draw a radius, which I've done here already, which will extend from the center to the edge of the circle. Your next step is to take your compass and to measure that radius. Okay, there it is. What you're now going to do is you're going to transfer your compass, leaving that compass distance the same, to the end point of your radius. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around the circle. Okay, there's an arc. I'm going to take my compass, again, still not changing the opening, and I make another arc the same length. And now I transfer it to that one. And I make an arc the same length. And I transfer it to the next one. I make an arc the same length. Transfer it again. Make an arc the same length. Transfer it again. This should end up on your radius. If it doesn't, mine's going to be a little bit off, but that's okay. Okay, where all those arcs intersect the circle, we can put points. Notice we have six vertices. All right. And we're going to connect them to form the hexagon. And notice when I let go of my lines, they're a little bit off. Um, the order should look pretty good. All right, and there is our regular hexagon. So steps, draw radius, measure the radius. Um, you can use the end point of the radius, or you can start pretty much anywhere on the circle as long as you end up with six places of intersection of the circle and the arcs. So now we're going to do the practice. So use a compass and straight edge to construct, uh, to do the construction below, leave all construction marks. So in both of these examples, we are constructing a regular hexagon. In practice number one, we are going to actually label it with the given values, and those must go in order. I can't jump around on the hexagon. So first step is I'm going to draw a radius. I'll draw it this way this time. Again, the radius extends from the center to the edge of the circle. I'm going to put a little point there. So I take, oop, nope, 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 sorry. So I take my compass, and I measure that radius of that circle. Okay, pretty good. And now I'm going to transfer my compass. You can, again, do it anywhere on the circle. I like to just start where I already have a point. And we're going to make an arc. Transfer your compass to where that arc intersects the circle. Make another arc, and we repeat this process all the way around. I'm going to end up off the paper here. Transfer it to the next one, make an arc, transfer it to the next one, make an arc. So I now have six arcs that intersect the circle. I'm going to put points at each of those, and I'm going to connect them to make a hexagon. Remember, the last step for this particular practice problem is to label. Don't forget to label. That's easy points right there. This was a two-point question on the Regents exam. You would lose a point for labeling. Silly, silly, silly. Make sure that you connect your points to make it a hexagon. Again, you will lose credit for not doing that as well. And we're going to label. So it doesn't matter where I start. The only thing that matters is that I go in order. 
doesn't matter if I go clockwise or counterclockwise, I just have to go in order. So that is the finishing, the finished piece for part one. I'm going to let you do the next practice question on your own. So pause the video here, try it on your own, and then check back to see that you've done the construction correctly. As you can see, I have drawn my radius, I have measured the radius, I have gone around the circle so that I have six points of intersection. What's going on here? Oh, don't move that. Where's my pen? Can I have my pen, please? Six points of intersection of the arcs and the circle. And again, make sure that you connect them to form the hexagon. Can't see where I'm drawing from here. Okay, again, yours should look more normal. It's a little bit difficult with the smart notebook software, um, but that's what it, it should look better than that. It um, should look something like that. Hopefully all your sides are the same, and that is it for the regular hexagon.